Tommy, the game is afoot. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited. And this is big news, breaking news, guys, because we have a fledgling but new charging network, and it's about time. You want to give them the news? Yeah, so seven major automakers are coming together. They're creating a new joint venture between General Motors, BMW, Honda, Kia, Mercedes-Benz, Hyundai, and Stellantis to create a network of 30,000 new DC fast chargers located all across North America. Yeah, you know, I was really shocked when... Uh, Major companies uh, basically said that they were going to switch to the North American charging standard. In other words, the Tesla standard, because I felt like electric cars are basically very different from internal combustion engine cars in that that 50% of an electric car is about the car, but the other 50% is about charging. So why would you give that up? Well, because Tesla Supercharger Network is by far the best network in the country compared to EVgo, Electrify America, ChargePoint. The Tesla Supercharger Network has been vastly superior, and up until this point, it's been reserved for Teslas only, but Nax is unlocking, hopefully, a whole new realm of possibility. But now, amidst this news, things have gotten a little bit more interesting. Yeah, yeah, and it's smart because not only is there a lot of money at stake, but I think, and I know you said this, but I just drove across country all the way from Florida to Colorado, and you said the Tesla network is the best. I did that in a Model 3 performance, and dare I say, Tommy, not one of those superchargers had a canopy. Well, I mean, you're going to the wrong spots. <laughs> EA stations have canopies sometimes, Dan. Pointed that out I there. used the word canopy because in the press release, you'll note uh, that this new charging network, which does not yet have a name, has identified that as one of the failures of the Tesla charging network, and they are going to provide canopies. That's fantastic. That's right. Now, one of my big questions, Dad, is um, are you going to be able to just roll up and plug in? Is yes. there going to be plug and charge capability? Yes, for both. Now, this is the other bit of news. Uh, the new charging network is going to have access to both CCS and next so they're going to have plug-ins for both ccs cars so for all of you legacy people who have a ccs car or maybe not legacy anymore you're going to be able to charge on this new network as well as uh, Tesla's and the Tesla North American charging standard. And this is exciting, right? Because I know Hyundai was pretty reluctant um, when a lot of other makers announced that they were jumping on the NAX standard because one of the challenges with NAX is currently V3 superchargers um, operate at a lower voltage than a lot of like the EGMP cars operate at, which are 800 volts plus. Well, hopefully, now that we have this new charging network being established, they're going to be very high powered um, 800 volt plus units to feed the needs of this next generation of high voltage vehicle. Now you want to read some of the things that they're promising? Um, yes, so quote, the functions and services of this network will allow for seamless integration with participating automakers in vehicle and in-app experiences, including reservations, intelligent route planning, payment application, transparent energy management, and more. In addition, the network will leverage plug and charge technology to further announce, enhance the customer experience. And one, where will these uh, charges be located? Um, well, they're going to be located first and foremost in major metropolitan areas, and then they're going to locate them around um, popular road trip and vacation routes. Yep, and let's talk about the premium stations that they have announced that they're building. Yes, a select number of flagship stations will be equipped with additional amenities, delivering a premier experience designed to showcase the future of charging. And how about the standard stations? What will they have? Well, they're going to have stuff like um, focus on customer comfort and charging ease of stations with being convenient locations, offering canopies whenever possible, and amenities like restrooms, food service, retail operations either nearby or within the same complex. Yeah, so my, my biggest gripe with the Tesla network, and get, no, don't get me wrong, it is much better than um, you know Electrify America or any of the other networks. My biggest gripe with them is it's still far short from the gas station experience, right? For instance, if it rains, you're plugging in an electric cable into an electric car in the rain. Right. Now let's talk about the seven manufacturers that are participating. Yes. BMW. Yes. A German manufacturer. Mercedes-Benz, yes. German manufacturer, General Motors, one of, one of the first to jump on the NAC standards, yes. not a German manufacturer. Honda currently offers no EVs yes. for sale in the U.S., pure EVs, um, not a German manufacturer. And then, of course, Stellantis, Kia, and Hyundai. So interesting group of, of brands from all around the world coming together to make this um, 
uh, well, well, they're saying we charge North America fast, reliable, sustainable. So when uh, will uh, this network be uh, available? Well, they're promising uh, what thirty thousand units. Yes. Um, the, uh, and the um, summer of twenty twenty four, and then from there they're building at U.S. and Canada as well. So uh, we're looking at this time next year we might have some competition, some real competition in the charging network. Uh, and you know when. Um, when the, uh, the manufacturers, this only happened like two months ago, announced, many of the manufacturers announced that they were jumping on the Tesla standard, right? I, I was really shocked because I thought to myself, they're giving up way too much to Tesla in terms of, you know, profit, in terms of, I mean, think about it this way. Imagine if uh, all the gas stations in America were Chevy, right? Right. How long would it take before that would start to entice people to buy Chevys instead of whatever they're charging on the network well, I don't or know. filling up. You that, see what I'm that, saying? That is a good point, but I'm, I'm, I mean, what is interesting to me, though, is if we look at some other manufacturers, right? Um, for example, Rivian. Right. Rivian's working on building out their adventure network. Yes, but they, they've been working on that. It's a joke. Well, it's coming. It's coming. Give Dude, them time, Dad. I think they've built, coming. they promised 13,000, if I remember. It was either 1,300 or 13,000, and I think they've completed like 13. Well, so, it's, so, they're working on it. No, it's, it's, it's not real. We have several in Colorado, Dad, I'll have you know. I, I, it's, you know, it, 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 it's not, I mean, it's good if you want to go off-road. 30 sites okay. as of um, <laughs> April. I know, come on. I mean, you know how big America is. So uh, Rivian's working on it. So they weren't one of the seven in the, in the announcement. Obviously, Tesla wasn't one of the seven. Um, but I'm interested to see that both BMW and Mercedes are on there. No Volkswagen, though, which is kind of a big well, they surprise. they have America. And, uh, yeah, and no Ford as well, so um, interesting. Well, Ford was the first to jump on the uh, NAX. NAX, right. Yeah. But it's important to note, like, NAX is the cable standard. It's the, it's the connector standard. Right. NAX does not automatically mean supercharger. Right. That's going to be a conversation that um, we're going to have to kind of clarify moving forward. And then the other question I have about this new joint venture, 30,000 new chargers. Yes. Is it just the seven automakers listed that are going to have access to it, or is it going to be open to the other automakers as well? How do you think that's going to work? I think there's going to be other automakers, just like when uh, Tesla announced that they were opening up theirs. I think a lot of automakers are going to jump on that because what I think the people who run those companies are smart enough to know is that Mr. Musk is going to eat their lunch if they give away that charging part of the pie, which I think in some ways is even more important than the car because long term it's got a lot more potential to earn money. And the other player that has yet to, I think, jump in the game are all the gas stations. I mean, at what point will, you know, Shell and Conoco so and, and, you know, our friends over... Shell is working pretty hard at it. Um, they already have certain collaborations and certain charging infrastructure at Shell locations. Um, so, so we're seeing that coming already. But yeah, I mean, the, the gas stations probably aren't just going to sit back and let this transition happen quietly. So we're going to have to see what they end up doing well, as well. well. Well, so far, at least in North America, they have. And I was going to say our friends at uh, Sinclair, right? Well, who else is going to... The other question, final question, who's going to build the actual chargers? Because if you look at Electrify America, yeah. all the chargers are branded Electrify America. But you have Signet and ABB and all these different um, charging equipment manufacturers that are contributing to EA. And it can often change the experience greatly depending on which actual unit you are using. So who's going to actually... Um, yeah, um, and, and who's going to actually write the software that's going to make plug and charge possible? It's I mean, a joint venture. Hopefully they all they all get their fingers in the pie. Look, look, Europe is way ahead of us on this, right? They have these charging stations where you pull up uh, and, for instance, the cables come from on top of the charger, not, you know, so if you're towing or if you know your your plug end is at the butt of the car or the nose of the car it doesn't really matter then they have like coffee shops built into them uh, they have even like uh, workspaces we're, with Wi-Fi I, I mean th that's what you need if you're gonna spend a half hour you, I, we're not gonna see, I don't think we're gonna see that they said they were gonna yeah, have, but they also were clever they said or nearby other facilities so there's a good chance they'll plop these at a mall, for example. A lot of questions left to see. Look, if, 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 they, if, they, if, they, if this just means, right, that they're going to have a post where you either plug in your own wire or there's a wire with a CCS connector, and I mean a fat wire, and a, an axe connector to it, and you just pull up and do the same thing that we're doing currently, I'm not too excited by that because well, to me that is... That is woefully short of what you currently have, which is gas stations with bathrooms and Starbucks and food and Bucky's, you know, all the stuff that, that makes stopping fun. If it's just another post with a cable, 
I'm going to tap out of it. I'm going to say. It's mostly what Tesla did, though. They were smart in where they put their, their station. Yes, I know. I know. That's why I don't think. Look, when Tesla opened up their network and a bunch of the, let's call them legacy automakers, jumped on, everybody in the EV world kind of lost their you know what because, you know, the coming of the second coming happened. And, and having driven, like I said, across country, I didn't think the Tesla networks were all that grand. They were just fancy red and white you know, posts but they with were, wires coming out of them. they were great, and they were in good locations. They're huh. in malls and some they're are, food shopping centers. Some are next to good locations. There are some that aren't. Anyways, enough bickering. Guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Big news. Uh, yes. There's, um, a, there's more we don't know than, than we do know. Tell right. Me. And uh, we'll have to stay tuned um, to, to see exactly what the plant is going forward with the new joint venture, what it's going to be called, what the rollout strategy is like, what kind of hardware they're using. But as what always... What the stations will look like. Yeah. This has been Tommy. The game is afoot. Rolling. We'll We'll see you on the next EV video. Ciao.